Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Malone. Um, basically, I wanted to do this video to basically um, tell you guys about my experience being a pescatarian. And I actually gave it up after two years. Stay tuned. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gonna go get it. Alright, so basically, I seen a movie which it was like a documentary i'm pretty sure a lot of people seen this movie um it's called what the health and um basically after watching that movie um me and my boyfriend at the time decided to um try being pescatarians um we seen the movie on netflix it should still be there if you guys are interested in watching it it is a really um it's a really good documentary. Um, so basically, um, we knew it would be hard. But after what we've seen, we was like motivated to at least try it. Even if we didn't keep up with it and we didn't actually um, successfully stick with it, we still wanted to at least try it. So basically, we tried it. And it's crazy because we tried it around the time um, his sister was actually getting married. And basically, it was like a lot going on, and it was a lot of food being cooked with um, family, relatives, friends, and everybody that was um, involved in the wedding, also attending the wedding. It was a lot of barbecues going on and stuff like that, so it was really hard, but um, we did it, and we wound up doing it for like two years. It was definitely expensive, more expensive than eating um, meat because um, seafood um could get very expensive especially when you are going out to eat and going to restaurants and ordering take on stuff like that a lot of our meals uh we made at home but um occasionally we would go out to restaurants to eat and um order take out and things like that so it's definitely expensive even um cooking at home was expensive because you have to obviously go to the supermarket and get like seafood we ate like salmon we ate shrimp crab legs a lot um, you know, like muscles, things like that. So, um, basically, it was easy because of what we saw, what we experienced in, like, what we saw in the documentary, um, made it easier for us to stay away from me, as well as, um, having the support of one another, because I feel like, say if I wanted to do it and he didn't, it would have been harder for me because, um, he would have been bringing food around, like chicken and, you know, steak and stuff like that. He would have been bringing that type of food around me. And I would have just wanted to eat it, one, or I would have been, like, craving it, or I would have been, like, looking at it, like, damn, that look good, you know? So, um, having the support of others definitely makes things easier. Makes a lot of things easier. Makes almost everything easy. Um, as well as, um, what we saw in the documentary. So, um, after a while of doing it, it just came natural. It was, um, it was easy, but my problem, I feel like, as a female, you know how they say, like, um, females gain more weight than males? Um, I feel like my issue was carbs, because I realized since I stopped eating meat, um, I started eating more carbs. And when I started doing more research, I realized that carbs carbs is the devil all right so i was eating like rice and pasta and things like that and it's crazy because i ate it so much that now i don't even like i hardly eat rice i hardly eat pasta like i just i don't crave it like i don't i don't want it it could look good and be all saucy and stuff like that and i'm just like like i just don't like i don't know why Maybe I had too much of it when I was a pescatarian, but I just, I'm just over it. And it's crazy because I started gaining a lot of weight. Um, I would say I gained somewhere between 20 to like 26 pounds, like being a pescatarian. Because although like it's this new lifestyle and oh, it's healthier for you and it's good for you, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of pros, but there's also a lot of cons. So I don't know if my body was trying to um, fill that void 
of not having meat and um, my body was kind of like craving more carbs and sugar because of that I'm not really sure but basically that was what was happening I was eating like a lot of like pastas and rice and stuff like that so um even at times like when I didn't feel like having shrimp or I was just like over it or oh, I don't want this I, like I don't feel like eating that like you have to eat something so I wasn't really like heading towards eating more vegetables I was eating more carbs basically so um I gained a lot of weight and I started noticing that I wasn't really fitting into clothes how I used to and it kind of made me like oh what the hell is going on and then I feel like you know how people say, oh, you're in a relationship, it, that's happy weight, and this, like, and that. It was just like, no. Like, nothing was working. I started working out. But then I realized that in order to work out and tone up, you need to lose weight. You you need to drop the weight first before you can actually tone up. Because if you tone up, you're just going to, like, your muscles is going to expand and you're just going to get bigger. So, which will probably be more weight because muscle weighs more than fat. So, it was just a lot. So, basically, um... I decided after two years of being a pescatarian, I had decided to um, start eating meat again, like at least chicken. Like I don't really, I don't eat red meat. Like I used to like dip and dab, but I don't eat red meat at all. Um, so right now I eat like chicken and turkey, things like that. Um, so I realized like maybe after like a few weeks of getting back into eating meat, um, like I started losing weight and people started saying that too like wow you're losing weight you're losing a lot of weight this and the third you know so um I started losing weight um so I was just like oh maybe like I needed the protein in my life because when we did start um being full-time pes pescatarians um we wasn't really like using supplements and things like that to um make up for the protein that we lost from eating meat so we didn't really do our research we just saw what we saw on the video and we're just like yeah we're not like we're gonna stay away from that you know so um it was crazy because chicken wings used to like remind me of the actual animal and like just a lot of things like used to gross me out about meat in general so that like kind of helped me stay away from it even longer and then um after a while like i just it just didn't bother me anymore so um when i did uh, start eating meat again. I wasn't like sick or anything like that Like you know how sometimes like your body is not used to certain things so your body reacts sometimes you'll throw up You'll be nauseous. You'll feel sick or whatever the case is. I didn't really go through that stage um, But I did slowly wean back into it and then once I started eating more protein like I Wasn't really interested in like carbs or anything like that. So Now I've been eating meat for I would say maybe about like six months now and um like i feel fine like it's regular like i'm back to my normal weight which is like 120. um i went up to like almost like 150 when i was a pescatarian and i'm not saying that that's like the most important thing like to me like being my normal size i'm not saying that's most important but honestly like as being a female and being a certain weight for years and you going back and forth between five pounds like your whole life and then going from that to like 25 pounds more it kind of takes a toll on your like mental state and like how you look at yourself and just you know you feeling comfortable and um it just like it took it took a toll on me definitely so um now i eat meat i cook meat like I cook chicken, I cook turkey, turkey bacon in the morning and things like that and I feel fine and I have started um, adding more vegetables to my diet and salads and things like that. So, you know, it's just more of a variety or whatever and I, I do still eat seafood a lot um, but I feel like I do have more options and I don't get bored easily and um, yeah, so I mean sometimes some things don't work out for everyone and sometimes people will say oh it's better for you oh it's healthy oh don't eat that don't eat this don't eat that but i would just recommend that you just listen to your body because your body is going to tell you um what it likes and what it doesn't like so um yeah i'm never going to say oh yeah don't eat this this is not good for you or this and that long term and blah 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 i would just honestly say listen to your body and how it makes your body feel
honestly at the end of the day i don't know if i will go back to being a pescatarian i'm not sure um at this point in my life i do obviously i do honestly want to um go into being a vegan a full-blown vegan one day um right now that's probably not gonna happen <laughs> but um i mean one day hopefully it will um i just have i just feel like i have to do a lot of research and um really know what i can like swap out for supplements and um like iron deficiency and you know things like that so de i'll definitely i definitely have been doing a lot of research and i'll continue to do a lot of research with that and then um you know hopefully i could be a full-blown vegan one day yeah i would just say try it like if you really want to try something especially like with our diets because diet is very important um when it comes to your health and how you recover from sicknesses and things like that diet is like a really high percentage of um of how you live your life you know and how your life turns out and it could have a lot to do with how long you live even you know so um i've never really been a fried food type of person um i always have baked things like i would put anything in the oven honestly rather than fry it and now they have cool new devices like the air fryer and um, i don't own one but i heard that you know it's very beneficial and um i'm thinking about investing in one soon and yeah that's really it um if you guys have any questions or anything um based on being a pescatarian or based on the transition going from um you know being a meat eater to pescatarian or going from being a pescatarian back to being a meat eater um let me know if you have any questions email me um add me on instagram you can dm me everything will be in the description box below you can leave a comment i, I love comments leave a comment um i always respond back rather quick and um yeah that's basically it so um i will catch you guys in the next video and stay tuned thank you for watching thank you guys so much for watching thank you for viewing my videos i appreciate it um i love the support i love the attention like even if you hate me even if you hate my guts like thank you for staying tuned in like i really appreciate it yeah <laughs> so yeah <laughs> um comment like and don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video i am squad later <laughs> Who you with? I'm with the lions and gorillas, gang bangers and drug dealers. All them skimmers and them killers who I hang with. Yeah, it tastes good.